And with us in the studio to talk about what other steps medicine is making in the area of circulatory and cardiac diseases is Professor Detlef Ganten, former CEO of Charité and an expert on hypertension. Now, we know that um, about 1 billion people in this world suffer from high blood pressure and the numbers are even rising. We definitely need a solution. Will it maybe come from systems as we've just seen in the report? Well, this patient definitely has been lucky to be in Hanover and to have this high-tech treatment. But of course, we cannot treat one billion people or more with this type of uh, high-tech uh, device. So we'll have to think about something else. And fortunately, we do have very effective drugs. And of course, we can also treat hypertension, especially mild hypertension, without drugs, mm -hmm. just by uh, better nutrition, healthier nutrition, less salt, uh, more physical exercise, less obesity, and so on. What's actually going wrong in this world that so many people suffer from hypertension? Well, what's going wrong? Uh, our heritage, of course, is uh, as long as life has uh, started. 3.5 billion years ago, mm -hmm. life started, and we carry this in our genes. Mm -hmm. Civilization is going much faster than evolution. So our biology, our body lives in a civilization and environment which is not suited for our biology. This is why we have so-called civilization diseases, such as cardiovascular diseases, but also others. We sit too much in offices and go And TV not studios, enough, correct. Outside. And uh, we are eating too much, we are drinking too much, and we are not uh, walking enough, not, not working hard enough, we are not sweating anymore. Mm -hmm. So that's our problem. Last week here in Berlin, the World Health Summit took place. You were actually the president of the event. There were many Nobel Prize winners uh, taking part. And uh, one of the topics was uh, the future of medicine, individualized medicine. Is there maybe hope for new treatments in this field also for high blood pressure? Well, definitely. I mean, the uh, scientific progress is enormous and we can now sequence the genome for less than $1,000. So everybody eventually could get his own genome sequence analyzed. And we can uh, read from the analysis uh, risk factors, genetic risk factors. But this is not the solution to blood pressure. Personalized medicine means genome sequencing, yes, eventually in the future but means also personal responsibility, prevention, know your risk and as precisely as possible, but do whatever you can without spending too much money and which staying natural in a way and, and looking for natural ways of combating disease. But even if you do everything correct and you live in a proper way, a good way, you might still get high blood pressure. So with this personalized medicine, what would actually change if you go to a doctor? If you see a doctor, what would he do? The doctor has more information. The doctor can consult you better mm. uh, on this information, but a good doctor will always uh, first ask the patient, what can you do yourself mm. to combat hypertension, to defeat your disease yourself? And uh, eventually, you know, one of the sayings and, and, and I think great words in and, and, and the Congress was, uh, education is the best kind of vaccination against disease. <laughs> Thanks a lot for the talk, Professor Zedefgan.